Welcome to No Shave Corona Isolation Challenge. <laughs> yeah, with that situation we currently have in the world, it's best not to meet up with friends. So, what can we do if you want to play games? Or specifically if you want to play some games of Final Fantasy TCG? Well, there are, of course, a few online options to play. The two biggest names we'll probably come across are Untap and OCTGN or Octagon or whatever you want to call it. Uh, I'm not gonna focus on Untap here because uh, I simply don't use that, but I use Octagon instead. Um, but uh, information for the Mac users out there, I think only Untap works for Mac because uh, in Untap you actually use uh, it's all. I said it's all in, in browser so you don't need to install anything or stuff like that I think so how do you get octagon you go to whatever browser you're using and you type in octgn.net so this is their site and you just click on download then you click on download again <laughs> yeah yeah you see it's only for Windows and then you install it I think it doesn't matter where you install it, whatever. Just install it, then as soon as that is done, open it. There's a little, little bit of loading every time. But that doesn't take too long. Yeah, and then you absolutely have to create an account for this. So just re register here and also log in every time you use it because else you can't play. So do that and yeah. And then go to Games Manager and then scroll down to wherever Final Fantasy TCG is. There, yeah. Then click on, yeah, install. Yeah, click on install. That will take a while and then you're almost good to go. Another thing you also have to do is to download the image packs so that you have visuals for the cards and not just text. Um, so you go to this. Uh, if I always just Google OCTGN FFTCG, then it's usually the first link. So then you get here, then you go to image packs, and then you need to download the image packs of the opus you want to play. So every opus, of course. And yeah, if you're first starting, you can click just here to download all the packages that are in one file. This will take a bit of time. Yeah, you can cross this. It's called, I think there's a message, yeah. At the time of filming this, there's only until uh, Opus 10 here, so they will probably add Opus 11 soon. There's already the two player starter deck added. So you need to get back here to just download only the Opus 11 one you want uh, to get started, yeah. So as soon as that's downloaded, you click on Add Image Packs, and wherever you've, you download it, uh, you save the file. You just click here, so these are all, all the single ones. So yeah, and then you upload it. And then you're good to go, actually. Now to build a deck, uh, you could use, of course, the inbuilt deck editor. Uh, it probably works fine, I don't know. <laughs> I never used it because there's an easier alternative. So you can just use ffdecks.com because yeah, I use it for all my deck building. So they also have a special export format you can use. Oh God, I haven't ch checked on the new version yet. Um, yeah, so when you have your finished deck, when it's all saved and ready to go, 50 cards, blah, all official, then you just click on the three dots and export as OCTGN. So that's a special file. Just save it where you can find it. Um, all the stuff OCTGN is normally saved under your documents uh, automatically. So there you have your file and just create uh, all the files and just create another another folder for your decks, whatever. So play or spectate, there's nothing going on at the moment. So just start one, whatever game name, password, whatever you want. Uh, here, very important, make sure to have it set to two-sided table. You will see why. Then, yeah, if you have an opponent, start. <laughs> and this is how it looks. Two-sided table makes it that your view is always like this, so you are on the bottom and the opponent is on the top. The very important part about this is that you have to do everything by yourself. There's nothing that's 
automatically you have to do it yourself so it can be a bit overwhelming in the beginning but as soon as you get used to it if you played a few games then it really gets easier to do so this is I, don't, I really don't know why this is the card you always remove so just right click on it and move card to whatever brick zone it disappears anyway so this is the field now uh, on top load deck I'm gonna go through it a bit more quickly you can check it later uh, because else this video gets just too long you first had to load your deck okay you have it and then yeah depending on where you click you have different options always and very importantly you have the shortcuts just behind it so get used to using those to get it a bit more quicker so there are other options everywhere so to start a game uh, first you have to roll for first who goes first there you see it here what you rolled I don't have an opponent so I'm gonna start for the phases just get used to use F1 to F7 immediately because it speeds the game up by a lot instead of always having to click or you can just uh, push tab to go to the next phase so first phase is of course the active phase where everything oh no <laughs> yeah no no hand yet damn it <laughs> first you do you draw your five cards and then you can mulligan if you want you can also rescale everything the way you like it press f12 to mulligan okay i have my five cards now i go to the active phase with f1 you always see in the chat right here where you are so i'm already in the active phase this is where all the backups activate and stuff then f2 is the draw phase as i'm starting i draw one card f3 for the main phase this is where i can play some stuff um for yeah just to demonstrate i want to play her philo so i need to generate some cp so i right click on the card then discard and gain cp and then i play her right click and play this card and then i choose a spot where i want to play her yes cool but i can just get it back and also just drag it here the program doesn't matter it lets you do whatever you want so i can place him on the field remember you have to do everything on your own so the program will not tell you when you do something wrong except for stuff like if you want to use it correctly but you don't have the right cp for example if you want to play her program says you don't have the cp so i can generate it here as well manually to cp and then i can play her stuff like that it it's a bit mm, yeah as i said it's it takes some time to get used to it's also best to use a voice chat or whatever with your opponent maybe you're playing with a friend jump into discord or whatever you're using because it's far easier to communicate than to write in the chat wait up i made a mistake then the other person played already and you have to rewind a little bit so voice chat is the way to go uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, just very quick to show some stuff. Attack phase and now I want to attack. So I right click and say I forward, declare attack. So I declare that attack. And then to attack, I just dull the forward. So yeah, where the attack is going. And then the opponent has to, when he's not blocking, he has to click on his deck to take damage. So yeah. You see, it's a lot, a very lot to, to take in. Just test it for yourself, test it with a friend best uh, to figure it out together how it works. But yeah, um, this is how I like to play uh, some games online when there's a virus going around and you're not too allowed to leave your home. So yeah, Opus 11 will come soon. And yeah, let's go. Let's get into deck building. I hope you liked this video. I have never done something like this before, but I hope it was helpful and you got it to work. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will answer them as soon as possible. Uh, have I missed anything? I probably have, but yeah. 
thanks for watching and see you in the next video because yeah it's probably it's gonna probably be videos like this so get used to this because i can't have nobody to play with here uh yeah how do you youtube how do you speak to camera bye bye